it's March and I feel like we're finally starting to warm up for this year's picks of great horror movies and thrillers. And guess what? Lisa Frankenstein just hit VOD. So if you missed out on that one, it's time to check it out. But I have so many picks for you this month. I'm going to be frank, not many of these films this month are streaming on platforms. A lot have been released independently, which just means there's a lot of unique entries. Trust me, it's an exciting month for horror and let me show you why. Horror mystery thriller Amelia's Children hits VOD on the 1st. The film follows Edward who is searching for his biological family which leads him to a villa in northern Portugal. Here he aims to meet his long lost mother and twin brother. Finally he'll discover who he is and where he comes from but the truth is a little bit more complicated than he thought and possibly dangerous. It sounds like a twisted ride. Let's see what the truth is. This one is available on the 1st of March. March. Snake Rattle and Roll Extreme is a Filipino horror anthology film series that's been around for a very long time, but this latest entry is getting a Netflix release. This one did have a limited release in some countries, but it is really hard to track down. The film has three segments. The first is Glitch, about a family who has an encounter with Gary the Goat, a creature from a 70s TV show who is not what he seems. Segment two is Mukbang, which is about a group of influencers who are attempt to collab but are horrified when one of them has a taste for something a little bit more sinister. And the last segment is called Rage and this is about a group of friends who watch a meteor shower that spreads a deadly virus. This looks like a fun anthology so if it pops up on your Netflix be sure to tell me your thoughts. And fun fact this series Shake, Rattle, Roll has been around since the 80s. So honor horror history and get to it. In the new horror movie Night Shift we follow Gwen who is working her first night night shift in a remote hotel, but things turn dark when she suspects that she is being stalked by someone from her past. But is it all in her head or is the hotel playing tricks on her? This movie stars Phoebe Tonkin, Madison Hu and Lamon Morris. Check it out from the 8th. It's time for a deadly tune with the Piper. This horror hits VOD on the 8th and follows a composer who is tasked with finishing her late mentor's concerto, but she soon discovers that playing the music summons deadly consequences, leading her to uncover disturbing origins of the melody and an evil that has been awakened. Spooky! But I'm gonna be honest with you, this film hasn't got great reviews and although the trailer has some very exciting atmosphere, the acting seems a little dry. So will this music hit the high note or will it be off key? There's only one way to find out. We love independent horror and of course found footage, although the trailer for Frogman in terms of handheld camera seems a lot. In Frogman, we follow three friends who are in search of Loveland Frogman, a local legend. The film claims to start as a mockumentary and morph into a Lovecraftian nightmare. But keep in mind, even though this may look like the Blair Witch, it's labeled as a horror comedy. And with the tagline, wait for it, the croaks are no hoax, it should be interesting to see how much of this comedy is horrifying. Check it out on VOD from the 8th. Alien horror fans, listen up. Jonah is out this month. The mystery thriller sci-fi is about Margot's son, Jonah, who is allegedly abducted by aliens. Investigative journalists, Ozzy and Darren, are now on a mission to uncover the truth. But as they delve into the supernatural, Ozzy confronts his own haunting memories, casting doubt on Margot's story and adding layers of intense skepticism to their investigation. Jonah promises a gripping exploration of alien encounters, past trauma, and the quest for undeniable truths in this mysterious and thrilling world of the paranormal. Check this one out from the 12th. Embark on a journey of fantasy with the animal kingdom. This is a French Belgium film. Streaming from the 15th of March, the adventure drama horror unfolds in an extraordinary world where human genetic mutations lead to the transformation of people into hybrid creatures. We follow a man who strives to save his wife from a mysterious condition and he, along with his 16 year old son set out on a quest aided by a local police officer. The film won a bunch of awards at the festival rounds and was
was nominated for the Uncertain Regard Award at the Cannes Film Festival, which celebrates films told in various visions and styles, basically told in non-traditional ways. So I'm very intrigued, especially after seeing clips from this trailer. Keep your eyes peeled from the 15th when this hits VOD platforms. I think this one's gonna be beautiful. But I'm most excited because of the new animated horror, Stop Motion. This one has portions of stop motion effects within a live action British horror movie. And it's currently in select cinemas. And I'm very excited to announce that it will hit VOD mid-March. Although the movie will be put on Shudder, but not for another month or so. So you can rent it this month, or if you have Shudder, you can wait a little while and see it for free. Stop motion follows a talented, of course, stop motion animator who becomes consumed by the grotesque world of her horrifying creations with deadly results. And let me tell you, I've seen so much buzz about this film. It looks so creepy and unique, and I can't wait to check it out on the 15th. Let's take a step into the eerie ambience of The Woods Are Real. This horror film is set to release on the 15th of March and it's the haunting tale of a wealthy couple from Brooklyn whose worldview is shaken when their friend challenges their charity, inviting them, or really challenging them, to live off the grid in a retreat. Here in their quiet cabin in the woods, adorned by the relics of bygone era, they come across a foreboding message leading to a horrifying realization. Without giving too much away, this film looks like it has a very strong message, and I'm really keen to see how these characters react. I'm saving you from spoilers, trust me. It looks very interesting. I'm checking this one out on VOD platforms from the 16th. Okay, this horror mystery has my attention. Room Zero follows a desperate woman who struggling to make a life-altering decision to save her sister. Set to release on VOD on the 19th, this horror sci-fi takes a chilling turn when, as a mule, our lead steals a mysterious device to fund a life-saving procedure for her sister. But accidentally activating the device, she finds herself trapped within a motel room as her life changes as she knows it. This movie seems like a puzzle as the box sets new rules and she must abide by it to break free of its cycle. It sounds very interesting. Check it out from the 19th. Shutter Original, You'll Never Find Me, has a limited cinema run before heading straight to Shutter in some countries this month. I'm lucky enough to have tickets to go see a cinema screening of this one because it's an Australian film. This is very rare for me. The movie is about an isolated man living in a caravan park who is visited by a desperate young woman seeking shelter from a violent storm. But as the storm worsens, the threat outside and inside grows. Both the trailer and title for this one looks very intriguing and I'll be happy to take you guys along with me to the cinema if you want a come with me review for this one. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I can give you a heads up if it's good to watch before it hits Shudder. The movie heads to Shudder on the 22nd and I'll be seeing it a week before. And it's not a year of horror without a wacky and strangely timed holiday themed horror movie. And this one is early. Any guess to the theme? Yes. <laughs> it's Easter. Easter bloody Easter. It's a goofy Easter themed horror about a woman who must protect her small town from the jackalope and his army of devilish bunnies as they embark on a murder spree over Easter weekend. Nothing is sacred anymore, guys. Some of you guys go nuts over these offbeat horror films and you just want to laugh. And I know that there's a special person out there that this goes straight to the top of your to-watch list for this month. And you, my friend, can check it out from the 26th. As always, everything is left for you down in the comments down below. Thank you to my patrons who make videos like this possible. And thank you to you guys for always watching. Check out what I've done recently here and I'll talk to you all very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye, friends.